I'm in Glasney Village. This is the most popular choice usually for students to pick when they decide to come here in their first years of university. Although with the rising number of students, this is becoming increasingly difficult and students aren't getting their first place. This may just look like a shipping container, but in fact, this could potentially be Falmouth University's answer to the ever-growing problem of housing and an increasing number of students. These flats have not yet been granted planning permission, but they intend to house 264 students by 2018. Set to be built on an industrial estate in Pemrin, they are far from the views you'd expect to see living on the Cornish coast. This solution has already been established across Europe, but these particular makeshift university dorms will be the first of its kind in the UK. There, there is a real problem in trying to put into place student accommodation, ideally in the next 12 months. There are afoot, there are other plans associated with the university to put in probably another thousand student accommodation just below the campus here, but that's going to take another two to three years before they're built. This is almost a bit of a stopgap, but I think, it, I think people will, will enjoy living in them. Everybody does offshore, so why won't they live, enjoy them here? The flats will be £99 a week and will feature a bed, desk and ensuite and will also have a communal area livable for eight students. Despite its promise to provide jobs and ease attention on housing between locals and students, the response across the community is mixed. The location is in a light industrial area that's designated a light industrial area and therefore there's no way you should be building residential accommodation in a, a light industrial area. Uh, where, where, do the, where, where do the companies go uh, surrounding that? Because as soon as you change it from resi uh, light industrial to residential, one would assume that the land value will increase considerably, and that's going to push out all the other light industrial companies. Falmouth needs light industry as well as the university and accommodation for the students. The whole way in which it's been put together looks as though somebody's put a bit of thought into it. It's much better than trying to have a lot of uh, houses of multiple occupation, occupation around here or converting other areas. Uh, students will have it as well, particularly if it's closer to campus and facilities that really students need rather than perhaps residents.